The TDO Image Organizer is an extremely powerful tool as it allows you a place to store all of your audio, video, image files, PDFs, PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets, and Word documents all in one central location. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to click my Images button on my top toolbar. This opens my Image Organizer to my current patient's file. I'm going to click the Organize button at the top. This gives me two different window panes. At the top, I want Libraries, and on the bottom, I want Files. You have the option of having libraries as well as lectures stored in your Image Organizer. I like using Library as a source bin, so you can put different files in here and then build your lectures based on these source files. In both Libraries and Lectures, within each folder, you can have subfolders for easier organization. Let's create a new library to put our source files into to then create a lecture. I'm going to double click on Add New Library, type in the name that I wish to use for this library, select the library, and then click, hold, and drag to bring my files up. That was a single JPEG. If you want to multiple select files, hold your control key while you drag the files up that are selected. So now I have JPEGs, I have an AVI file, I have a Word document, I have a PPS format PowerPoint presentation. I'm also going to bring up a PPT file PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to show you the difference in how those show during your slideshow into TDO. All right, I'm bringing up the rest of my files. So now all of the files I moved are now stored permanently into your TDO image organizer. And this is very powerful because that means that these are also backed up with your TDO backup, so you don't have to worry about ever losing any of these files. Let's go ahead and do a slideshow so you can see how these look shown through TDO. To do a slideshow, you can select individual images using your control key, or you can show all images in this folder, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click my button. This is going to bring up my first item, which is a simple tile slide created in TDO. Click my mouse. This is bringing up another JPEG. Next, this is bringing up a PPS format PowerPoint presentation. Now, the PPS formats are nice because you don't see PowerPoint in the background. I use my arrows on the lower left-hand corner to go between the slides of the presentation. Hit my escape key if I want to leave the presentation. Click my mouse to move to the next item. This is an audio file. I'm going to click my play button. Keep in mind that every implant system commercially available today has got success rates that's better than that. Why in the heck would you do a root canal on a patient when you can take the tooth out and put something in that you know is going to succeed at a higher level? Think about it. I'm going to close my audio file, click my mouse to move to the next item. Now this is opening up a Microsoft Word document. This was a chapter written by Dr. Carr and Dr. Mergell. Close Microsoft Word, click my mouse. Now this is bringing up another video file. What I really want to stress today is that there is a fundamental difference um, between acute infections and chronic infections. Um, and Koch's postulates don't apply to chronic infections. That video was taken during the TDO clinical session. I'm going to close my video, click my mouse. Now this is bringing up a multi-page PDF. I can scroll through the different pages of this PDF, close the window when I'm done viewing that, click my mouse. This is bringing up another PDF. This was a post done by Dr. Ray to TDO clinical. Dr. Carr wanted to keep a copy of this post in his reference library. Close. Click my mouse. Now this is bringing up a PPT format PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to start my slideshow. And now I click through my slides just as I would. Now the benefit of using a PPT format presentation is you have these animations. The PPS format file, which is simply changing the file extension, 
You have the benefit of not seeing the PowerPoint at the beginning of the slideshow, but you don't have access to these animations, which are very nice. I'm going to hit my escape key, close my PowerPoint window, click my mouse, and this is bringing up another video. I'm going to click my play button. This is a video of Dr. Carr and Joy showing how to change the instruments. Okay, I'm going to close that video, click my mouse, bringing up my next item. Now, if you take videos of your procedures on your patients, this is a fabulous way to store them in a patient's chart as well as in your reference library and for lectures. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this video, click my mouse to bring up the next item. This is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Close, click my mouse. You can keep all of your MP3 files in your TDO image organizer. These are nice to have and also a way to back them up. Click my mouse to open up the next item. Now this is a video from the web of Dr. Christensen's famous clip. My suggestion, take it out. Close my video, click my mouse. That's the end of our presentation, so it brings us back to our image organizer. Now I wish to create a lecture. To do this, I'm going to change the bottom window of my image organizer to lectures, and I still have libraries selected at the top. You can see here that Dr. Carr keeps a record of all of his lectures in his TDO image organizer, and this is wonderful as a way to archive them, and they get backed up regularly and are in a central location. I'm going to scroll my list to the bottom and create a new lecture. And now I can start creating the lecture by taking items from any of my library folders as well as any of my patient files. So I want this JPEG image. I'm going to drag that down. I want this PowerPoint presentation. I can bring that down. I can bring my PDFs. I can bring my movies. I can bring my Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, any of the file types that we already discussed. I can also click my top window back to patients and this brings up my current patient images or I can go to any other patient from this list. I can click, hold, and drag down items from the patient's chart into my lecture. Let's see, and I want to grab this screenshot as well. Drag it down there and I have my lecture. Now remember, for all of your lectures and libraries, you can click the plus button to add subfolders within each topic.